Hey everyone, this is game four of the best of seven series from the NESL finals. It is featuring OGS MC and TSL Puma. Both these players have gone through hell to get to the finals. It has been such a long tournament. It's not like MLG where it's just one condensed weekend and very intense. These guys have to play their best throughout months of games. And this is the finals, it is a best of 7th series, MC 2 times GSL winner has said that he is going to win every single foreigner tournament out there because he believes that the GSL is the hardest tournament and he has won it twice. His opponent, Puma, is a very local player. He does not participate in very in many international tournaments, but he has played his way to the finals. He has defeated some huge names, and this is going to be game four. The series are, is currently 2-1 for Puma. So Puma taking the two first games. MC finally realizing his mistakes. Went for some early void rays. Defended beautifully with some force fields. Puma's earlier attacks not even revealing his void rays. And once those void rays got to Puma's base, they were just devastating. MC got a huge lead. Eventually just plowed through Puma once again. And this is how we got into game four on Backwater Gulch. Puma going for the same build as the last game, throwing down his gas, as well as his barracks. Meanwhile, mirror build for the Protoss, as much mirror as you can get, a gateway as well as gas. So no funky business in this fourth game. Both these players do believe that they can outplay the other, so no cheeses as of yet. Now, Backwater Gulch is quite a large map, and these two watchtowers actually give you a huge vision here of the center. The third base is fairly easy to take because it is very far away from the attack path, actually, from your opponent. Because most, most of these battles will actually occur right next to this watchtower or on the very, very large ramp leading to the expansion. So that fourth base is actually very long to get to for MC. He has to actually go around the entire map to the th third base and same thing for Puma. So drops will be very effective to actually harass this third base as well as DTs could be a very uh, could be very viable here by MC. Second gas already up for MC so we will be seeing a very similar build. Will he go for starport this game as he did in the last three games? We will have to see. Usually MC, usually he does prefer his 3-gate expo with a lot of sentries. Uh, it is very, very standard for Protoss to do that. Especially MC has such a great force field control and very fast robotics facility by MC. So he is really changing it up in this matchup. He is just throwing everything at Puma and a starboard a 3-3-3-1-1-1 build, sorry, uh, or the Destiny Cloud Fist as Husky so likes to put it. I love that name, by the way. I know a lot of people hate it because Husky just named the build, but the Destiny Cloud Fist, it sounds so epic. A tech lab actually being produced on the factory, so it is going to be some very fast Banshee, and MC actually has a robotics facility, so an observer will be very fast out on the field. So this Banshee might not do the, uh, the damage it should be doing. Will he go for Cloak? He does have 200 gas saved up. He is going for Cloak as and going to be producing some Banshees out of that single starport and really MC will have an observer out he will be able to see this and this will spell disaster for Puma at this build at this point this is almost a build order victory for MC and Puma now scout this will he cancel cloak that SCV managing to get into the main base so really MC could have force spelled that just to prevent it from going in and Puma actually gonna go ahead with this, not gonna cancel Cloak, he is producing Mad Banshee. And I don't know if this is gonna be very useful, he should've... I do feel he should've cancelled this, because MC, as soon as he gets an server into the main base, he will see that that tech lab is actually producing something. And he will produce a second observer, or just head this one back home. And what I love, some players actually start researching the very cheap Mobius uh, 
uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. Caduceus Reactor. Be just to get that tech lab turning to fake a cloak, but that is not the case actually for Puma. He is gonna finish cloak and that observer heading back home. This banshee not even at MC's base. He is very ready to intercept this banshee. It will make its way to the main base, might get a few kills, but with that observer on the field, uh, don't think that anything will happen. MC is now producing his second base at the expansion. Meanwhile, Puma is also getting his second base. So after this, he is actually not producing a single other Banshee. So this cloak is going to be completely useless at this point. If server is in the ring, going to be able to spot this Banshee. It will might go down. Will it go down? One more shot. No, it does survive with 10 HP. So great control by Puma. Getting that Banshee out there right as it was about to die but really this cloak has been very useless so that is 200 minerals 200 gas that just went to waste at this point there are two observers on the field for mc so he has this covered he knows that it was a huge investment for puma to actually get cloaked this fast and if he actually holds this it will be in his favor this banshee doing some nice kiting but will get denied and actually a third base going up for Puma, so this is very, very ballsy, really. These observers have to stay in the main base for MC or else these Banshees could do huge damage. Puma knows about this. He knows that these observers have to stay in the main base and won't be scouting the map. So really, this is actually quite some nice thinking by Puma. He knows that this is not going to get scouted. And really, MC cannot afford to send an observer down there or even a zealot down up there because basically, if a zealot makes its way across the map, it will be picked off by Banshee. Banshees, these observers need to be in the main base so they won't be on the map anywhere. So, really, this has basically almost no chance of getting scouted. So, great. I love this thinking by Kuma. He knows that he was behind making that early Banshee not doing any damage, so he is gonna come back ahead with this hidden third expansion that is very, very unlikely to get scouted. So really, Puma is showing us that he knows what he's doing. He knows what MC is doing. He knows what MC has to do to stay alive, and he is taking advantage of that. And really, once this third base gets going with those mules, he will have such a high economy. You can see 37, 242 harvesters to 44, but look for that number to actually close in as there is a third base. This initial probe gonna try and take control of this watchtower not gonna happen because this marine is shooting like a boss he is gonna stay here denying that probe any kind of scouting and really mc uh puma has control of this game at this point he has control of the entire map this cell is gonna go away and chase away this marine by puma he does see it and now puma might want to consider actually taking this out with a handful of marines because uh, having having vision of the center map will tell uh, will actually tell Puma if something is going to scout this third base, and if something is going to go scout this third base, I think that Puma might want to deny it as soon as possible. This observer now just walking away from the main base of MC. He decides that one observer in his main base is enough, and now this observer might actually go and scout the entire map. And once it sees this expansion, fortunately there isn't much saturation here, but once it scouts this, a MC will get a huge knot in the stomach. That is never that is never a good feeling in discovering that your opponent has had an expansion for quite some time. The harvester count is now equalized for these two players, and that is not a good sign for the Protoss player. He does have Chrono Boost, so he should be able to pull ahead in harvesters. But with that third base, as well as mules, you can see that the Terran income will be so much farther ahead, almost 400 minerals ahead from MC. And now these stalkers are walking across the map, making sure that nothing is there. He looks like he wants to get an expansion up here, though. 
This factory is still being used to actually scout off the map, so great use of a useless building from Puma. He knows that he's not going to be producing from this factory, and MC might actually go and scout this third base. If he does scout this, this is going to be huge. Puma going to move out, and hopefully he wants to intercept this army before it actually scouts off the third base. And I do think that MC is still in the dark about this third base. Yes, he is. And really, MC is not going to be happy with this. You can see, uh, supply-wise, Puma is already ahead. He has a lot of Marauders in this army, which will be very good against this huge Stalker, uh, Stalker Colossus Ball. And he is going to come back to his base, come ba back to the Vikings that will do huge damage to the but to the Colossus, actually point defense drone is going to negate these stalkers from shooting for at least a while and uh, MC has to blink forward here, very aggressive blink, this is so dangerous especially with concussive shells these marauders could have actually completely denied the stalkers, fortunately for MC he actually walks up out of there safely and he knows that he cannot engage this, you can see this one uh, Colossus almost glitching out, not um, not walking, just sliding across the map. One uh, Banshee will get completely denied in the center of the map there, intercepted before he can go home. MC now getting his third base, but really Puma has been mining from this for quite some time now. Dropping his mules here would have been a better idea than actually an expansion because this is saturated. Might as well exploit this third base as much as you can while you have it. These stalkers going to gain control of the map with blink. They are very safe. They can always blink back if they see something. And this is going to be a huge engagement at the center of the map. Not the best engagement by MC. He does decide to blink back and come back, join up with his huge ball of Colossus Zealots. And splitting his army, going to try and get a concave in case that Puma actually walks up the ramp. Not going to happen though, Puma knows he's at an advantage with this third base. And this third base is actually not as saturated as, as you would like from Puma. Only a few SCVs mining from there. He is getting extra gas from there, so that is one good thing. Meanwhile, more Archons warping in, as well as armor level 1 for uh, Puma's bio. And he is going to walk up here, standing up there, seeing up there. And nice GMP, going to hit almost all the stalkers, defeating them of their shields. And going to fall back once again. And I don't think that Puma knows about this base. Yes, he does. He did scout it. So we are going to have to win. see nice game three hitting on this all the zealots and the three colossus. These are going to be so weak. Three picking one off with the Vikings. That's so many Vikings. Almost one shot with these colossus. Huge engagement here and no storms once again for MC. These colossus are now dead. Luckily the Vikings to land on the high ground to help win this battle. And there they go. They are landing. Going to shoot from a high ground. This is so many marauders from Puma. And once those zealots actually die, the rest of this army will go down quite easily with the Viking support on top of the cliff here. MC is not looking in good position. These Archons are now dead. There are a lot of units so dropping one more mule on top of the army. Again, this is just GTFO MC and Puma taking another game. It is now 3-1. Look for the fifth game of the series.